Good morning, this is Val with This Is How You Do It. I, um, I'm here to uh, take out my Bantu knots. I've taken out the back already. And right now, I'm going to lay down my edges. I'm going to use the Murray hairdress to lay down my edges. And the way you do a bantu knot is you, uh, the uh, way I did the bantu knot is to add uh, two strand twist it and then wrap the hair on itself. Now what I used to um, achieve those bantu knots or to get them to lock in was something I got from the Dollar Tree. And I only paid one dollar for it. And that's a product I bought when I first went natural. And at the time when I first went natural that stuff didn't work on my hair but because my hair has gotten some length to it and actually it has changed in texture I can use this stuff now this is what I got from the Dollar Tree and it's, it's, it's made with by olive oil with some olive oil in it and um, it's a cream it has a slight minty smell to it it is green and I did I use this when I uh, did my just twist outs so I used it again last night and I did the twist and then I wrapped them around themselves because when I do my twist they um turn up in the middle of the night so if they're going to turn I just made a bantu knot out of it but this is what my hair looks like using that cream so it does work if you want to try it and only pay one dollar for it You know, I'm, I'm about having a bargain. See? This is the way it looks. I used a dollar cream to do that. See? And you know my hair have a tendency to run real, real straight in the top. So I'm going to show you what my, what the, my straight hair looks like also. Doing that. See it? This is my straight. Well, this is the way it looks before I, I separate it. And then now I'm separating the two strands. And this is what I got. I turn to the side maybe to give you a better view of it. I move back because it's long so you can see it. See it? And those that watch my videos know my hair is straight and at the very top. This is my first time doing Bantu knots um, with this product. I'm um, separate those. It's still a little damp because I put quite a bit of product on my hair. So if it's frizzy, it's because it is my mistake, not the product mistake.
Get my mirror from behind me. So I can get a better look on what's going on. I'm doing something like a, a little short curly afro. I'm going to need a pick or a comb to lift it and help me uh, disguise the parts. That's just something I have to do because of the way my hair is. Because doing it like this, it may get some of them, but I've been trying not to use that comb. But because I have such a thin grade of hair, the comb really doesn't damage mine. It doesn't pull anything out. It don't change the curl pattern of my hair because I'm actually changing the curl pattern of my hair just by doing the bantu knots. So that is the main reason why we don't use the comb because the comb don't really pull the hair out is because you don't want to change your curl pattern. And my thing is if you manipulate your hair with a bantu knot or a twist out you already change your curl pattern. So that defeats the process of not using a comb. Makes sense, doesn't it? Makes sense to me. Well, I'll try this without the comb. Sound like I'm stretching it, doesn't it? Yeah. Like I say, it's still it's still amazing all the different looks that we can get with this natural hair. That we don't have to result to a perm. And I don't know if y'all seen one of my videos that's entitled uh, Straining with No Heat. I mean, I actually don't use heat. I wrap my hair with gel. So if you want to check that video out and see how straight my hair really is, uh, that's the name of it. Straightening with No Heat. And, I, and I, I'm not one of those people that say straightening with no heat, but yet they sit under the dryer. Or they say I'm just bumped it just a little bit. No heat whatsoever. My hair is like bone straight. So you want to check that out? Check it out. And I'm through with my hair. If you really um think about it, all I'm doing is positioning, not trying to cover up some of these parts. And guess what? I got my curly fro with the bantu knots. Oh, and I did a makeup video too. I know you see me when I do my hair and you be like, wow, yeah, but you didn't see what it took to get this way, right? Like I said, I um, try not to let stuff defeat me. Remember when I was having trouble trying to get my curly fro? But check it out. I found it. With a product that costs $1.00. One dollar, y'all. Now, I'm not saying I won't use those bottles if they send it to me free and say it test it out. Just to see how, how it acts with my type of hair. But, since I had to spend my money to get it, one dollar. Same results. I don't know if it's the same results because actually I haven't used their product before. But I know this. My hair turned out wonderful for a dollar. Better than um, what I've been doing. Look at this, y'all. This is my straight. Y'all know how my hair act. Y'all that follow me. I'm still covering parts. I see it in the top. You probably can't see it. And plus, you know, I have a spot in the back that looks bald all the time. I'm trying to get that, too. And when I turn and show y'all the results... I, be, I just skip it all the time. It's just the way I do my hair that I skipped it. But when I turn, I'll see it. 
And if I fix it, it'll be off camera, and you'll be like, Ali, she got a ball spot in her head, and she don't even didn't even fix that. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. But I'm satisfied, y'all. What y'all think? You can give me a thumbs up if you like it. I don't know if that rating or thumbs up or whatever it is help you with YouTube. I don't I don't know. I don't know why people do ask for all of that. But if y'all know, tell me. So I can be hip to this thing. Because everything I know about YouTube, I figured it out on myself. For us making videos. For real. I figured out how to get the commercials on there and to go to uh, Ad uh, AdWorks and get and get you know affiliated with them and G Plus and all of that. I figured that out by myself. I went searching and looking for how do you do that? Get the commercials on there and get paid. You hear me? Yeah, right. If I'm gonna make them and they're gonna put the commercials on there, why not get paid for it? It's stupid to put commercials on your video and then they don't pay you. Right? Well, that's for my new listeners too. They have videos and they have a modernized their videos and they just doing videos and they, and and people watching them and they, yeah. I have people in my family got videos out there doing music and different stuff. Have a lot of viewers. Their music is good. I ain't got nail commercial on it. Got all kinds of subscribers. Yeah. I'm a YouTube partner. Whatever that means. I ain't seen no results from me yet. Okay. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Gosh, look. I don't know how it look. I thought when I turned, it looked like it was a spot right here. I turned so fast. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to show you the curls. Didn't use any eco style gel to achieve this. Wait a minute, I'm turning the labels around. I use this to lay down my edges and this from the Dollar Tree. You walk in there and look in the hair section where all the shampoos, conditioners, um, and the spray and all of that kind of stuff for your hair. This is on the shelf for one dollar. And um you can even get your conditioner there for one dollar. When I first started out I was so cheap I wasn't trying to pay four dollars for no Tresemme. At least I didn't know about Tresemme then. But I thought like this dollar condition conditioner work and it did. And that dollar gel by the same company, it works too. I know eco eco style gel don't cost so much, but I bought some of the gel by this this company and it cost one dollar. It do the same thing and it worked on my hair. One dollar for the gel, one dollar for this, and it works. Okay then y'all, let me get out this thing. Talk to you later. Bye bye.